Sometimes Rocket League pros pull off certain things that absolutely baffle everyone, from fans to analysts to even each other. And when these things happen on the biggest stage for the entire world to see, it makes for some of the most memorable moments in the game's history. Today, I've chosen five of the most incredible ones to share with you. These are five times Rocket League pros shocked the world. If we were to wind back the clock to 2018 in RLCS Season 5, there's likely one particular play that comes to your mind. However, as amazing as that moment was, there's another play that happened just one hour prior that if it hadn't been overshadowed by what would follow, it likely would have been one of the greatest goals of its time. In that same matchup of NRG versus Dignitas, just before the bracket reset, NRG found themselves still scoreless heading into game two. They are trying to force the issue. They are more than willing to allow NRG to take a clip. Well, that is a big block off the post. NRG be so careful off the ceiling. NRG needed something to finally wake up and get back to their confident and aggressive selves. At the current pace, nothing they were doing was working until literally out of nowhere came possibly the greatest Rocket League goal ever scored at the time. Slow down to Dick Tassel and now on the defensive. Still zero goes. Oh my goodness! Trying to still do something, and he's managed to get there off the loose pass. Steals the mid boost as well. That's going to slow down Team Dick Tassel and now on the defensive. Still zero goes. Oh my goodness! Oh my dear it! They don't come out. But that was also all the way back in 2018. Let's take a small step closer to the present day. Most often, the road for new mechanics making their way into professional play is a long one. First, they have to be discovered, then they're usually learned by freestylers, and eventually they sometimes find their way into pro play. However, this next moment seemed to skip that entire process somehow, when an up-and-coming player named Astral scored a type of goal that even had professional players speechless. In the Beyond the Summit tournament from 2019, Game 3 in the Crew Battle Finals, Rizzo decided to take control of the ball and send it to the corner in order to stall time for his team to recover. Normally, this would be a completely safe and smart choice, but because of what Astro was about to do here, that choice in an instant went from safe to disastrous. None of these players had ever seen anything like it. Everyone's controllers hit the floor, and the reactions of the analysts and other pros watching were exactly the same. We. Oui. <laughs> there you go. Good start. Bonjour. I don't know, you're pretty fast at, at English. Oh, oh, what? what was this? Okay. Well, everyone's but just standing still and watching right, the goal. Hold on. Wait. That was insane. No, 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 no. What? What? Oh, what? Okay. What? He cooks her bitch okay. at the corner. From that day on, this mechanic would be called the Astro Pinch. And even today, it remains one of the most impressive ways to score in all of Rocket League. We all know what a redirect is. It's something that's been around since the early days, and there's all sorts of different ways to do it. You've got just a normal shooting redirect. There's also these high aerial ones, backboard redirects, doinks, and probably plenty of others. But more recently, in the past few years, a different technique has started to be seen more and more. We'll call it the skim. On this particular type of redirect, there's this weird interaction you get, where if you approach the ball quickly, even from the opposite direction, and then orient yourself so that you'll barely touch it as you pass by with your front wheels, without even flipping, the ball will accelerate in a way that is hard to make sense of, no matter how many times you watch it. It's a physics-based game, but it's still hard to tell where exactly that extra speed is coming from. And because of this, it makes for the most deadly version of a simple mechanic that's been around since the start.
The only problem with this type of shot is it's extremely hard to score. Any tiny little imperfection in your movement or orientation will send the ball off in a completely different direction. So while it is extremely deadly when you get it right, it's also that much harder to score in the first place, which at the same time makes it all the more beautiful when the stars do end up aligning. Here in the grand finals of the 2021 Fall Major, Garrett G pulled off one of the most perfectly precise RLCS goals ever scored. A pass from Squishy to an open midfield gave Garrett all the space he needed to take a stab at this shot. And this time, it connected. I want you to pay attention to the face cams of each player here. I feel like that shows you just how seriously impressive it was, even to his teammates. I'm not gonna be kind enough to him. Oh my. Oh, what oh! the shot! Oh! Oh! Yes, yes, look around, Justin! He can't believe it! But everybody in the else, well, else in the world knew that when Garrett gets here, <laughs> oh! he's so lethal! So, yes, this was absolutely the best skim redirect scored in Pro Rocket League at the time. But I say at the time because that quickly changed just about a year later. At the World Championship in Dallas in the same RLCS season, Garrett teammate Justin actually managed to completely one-up him with another skim redirect that, in my opinion, remains the single most impressive RLCS goal ever scored. You see, as time continued on, there was this other type of redirect that was also becoming extremely popular, which people called the sidewall double. On this one, you slam it off the sidewall with one touch, but continue flying at it to hopefully get a perfectly precise second touch directly toward the net. This one, as you can imagine, requires more precision than any other mechanic in the entire game, as that detail about the ball's trajectory being super sensitive is only amplified since it's two touches in a row. I don't don't say this lightly, there is literally no margin for error, which makes it so much more impressive that Justin managed to pull it off at the biggest tournament of the year. After being completely scoreless throughout the first two games in the series, the silence from NRG was finally broken. A pinch out to the midfield was all Justin needed as he jumped up for the first touch and leaned back slightly for the second. There was even a defender waiting in front of the net just in case it somehow kicked out in that direction. But even despite that, the shot was just too perfect to have any chance at being saved. Just like before, when Justin himself is surprised by what he did, that's how you know it was insane. Garrett, slow play, pinch out to the side. Common feast mode, both in the same spot. Oh, the oh shot! My God! Justin ends the drop for the general in our team. If you've paid attention to Professional Rocket League at all in the past few months, you definitely know who this guy is. His name is Zen, he's 16 years old, and he's the best Rocket League player in the world. Or at least it's extremely hard to argue against it. After sweeping an entire split for his RLCS debut, winning all three regionals and then the Spring Major as well, only the World Championship remained to close out the season perfectly. And in the semifinals of it, Zen scored something so insane, it's the sort of goal you have to see to believe. Where pressure is at the absolute maximum, it's hard to stay in tip-top shape and think as creatively as possible. But Zen somehow still manages it, as Vitality's series against K-Corp nearly went the distance in Game 6. In a tie game with just over a minute on the clock, K-Corp seemed to be ready for whatever kind of attack Vitality had planned. Even when Zen got the ball, it didn't seem too threatening since he was forced to take it way up high to the backboard. Some way, somehow, this ball right here ended up in the net. You're probably thinking, how? There's literally a defender in the net ready for just about anything, and another one out in front ready to help out as well. Not to mention the fact that neither of his teammates are anywhere near to even threaten a pass, and the angle he currently has is pretty much impossible. Everything about this position points toward being completely safe for Carmine Corp. But unfortunately for them, when Zen has the ball, you really aren't ever safe. It takes a lot to make world-class players react the way they do here. 
But when you've got someone on your team that literally does unbelievable stuff like this on the regular, it easily warrants that reaction. And it bounces up for Alpha. He's got another touch. Alpha but puts Hero right away. Right, right. Here's Ben up high. Takes it up. Zen across. Oh! <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, click the like button to let me know you want more, and check out this other video showcasing five times Rocket League Pro's broke world records.